Hi guys, welcome back for another Matchbox Garage video where today I attempt to take this Pontiac Firebird from shabby to shiny. Now I did go to the community tab, I asked the community what colour would you like to see the car? Two colours were kind of the most voted so that's what we're going to paint it today. So we start by drilling down the centre of the posts, removing the flange and tapping the hole. So this is one I did earlier. See the screws already in position. But underneath it reads Matchbox Superfast number 4 Pontiac Firebird. Made in England 1975. So this is 44 years old. Can't believe it really, but there we are, 44 years old. Now, not in bad condition, but the kid obviously didn't know how to, to ride this car and just drove it on its roof. Nice little bit of engine detail poking through the bonnet or the hood. Plenty of scope for some kind of detail on the front. Back's a little sparse, but you know, we'll get a bit of paint on those lights. No opening doors on this one. So let's start by removing these screws. See what we're working with. Now I've removed any background noise from today's video just because my children had a play date and they were making a right old racket so now I'm going to be doing a wheel swap so I'm going to be removing these wheels not too sure what this is chrome interior which I'm not a fan of but I understand you know to reduce costs all in built with those engine pieces which have obviously worn down anyway but that'll be getting a paint interior glass again not a lover of these coloured glasses I prefer the clear but actually on the final product it does look pretty mean so um, perhaps I'll retract my own statement so pop the cast in there into some boiling water this is a foot long hot dog jar which uh, enables me to kind of stay away from any bubbling over of this caustic soda. It's obviously very dangerous stuff. It takes the paint off in seconds. So I've got my goggles on, I've got my gloves on, I've got some ventilation and certainly you should do the same if you're going to attempt this. It always reminds me of being back at school, science experiments, seeing it all bubble away there. Good fun. So just a couple of minutes later, run it underneath the tap just to wash off any excess material plus paint. And it always leaves this kind of oxidation uh, finish that easily removed with a wire wheel. So again another further couple of minutes later this is what we're working with. The base fine, leave it unpainted. I'll put on a little bit of chrome paint on the bumpers on the rear here. I just covered the whole lot and then once this is dry I'll then start to bring back some little detail. Put a bit of chrome, uh, chrome paint on the engine covers there too. But like I say, just left the interior because I'm going to be painting that. Kind of washed off with a little bit of soapy water the windscreen there and then just dip it into pledge. Uh, I've done a double dip on this one actually. Yeah, quite nice. Alright, so moving over to painting the casting. Now, 
the two colours that kind of stood out in my question, uh, like I say on the community tab, were either black or gold. There was various other colours, but certainly those two colours were the outstanding um, kind of recommendations. So with that in mind, I'm going to paint it both black and gold. Um, so I'm going with a grey primer, which is the Tamiya Fine Surface Primer that we all use. So I just kind of straight out of the um, the Tamiya pot here with a bit of uh, X28 thinner, just going with the X1 black as a base. Now I'm painting it both black and gold. Um, didn't know which one to go with first and to be honest at this stage I still didn't really know which part I wanted to be gold. I didn't know whether I'd do like a, a stripe along the side, maybe just paint the roof gold, um, you know, two stripes down the center, one stripe down the center. But I thought, you know, it's just a custom. It doesn't really matter how I do it, what I do. Just, you know, do something. So I went with almost the easiest one. Um, I just thought I'll do a nice gold stripe straight down the center of the car. Using some of the Tamiya masking tape there. Just trying to make it as, you know, as straight as possible. But started off with one kind of coat there just to inspect it um, I guess off camera here and then ultimately just get the paint on Now the last time I used this gold paint, it come out rather dull. And there's no real reason why it would have compared to this one, because this time it come out super shiny. I think the only difference is, previously I used the gold paint over a white surface primer, compared to today, putting the gold over the solid black. So I guess that's the difference really. So with that to one side, uh, drying off, I've borrowed the wheels off of my son's Porsche um, Panamera and popped it on the base, glued it into position and then put the white powder over the top. This is after a, a second dip and dry now of the interior glass. And this is what I've done to the interior. Painted it all black. I then painted the inserts gold. And then gone over the whole lot with this uh, Citadel Mullen Oil, I think it's called. Um, which kind of gives like almost a, a realistic look. Like a, like a, a, it goes into all the little nooks and crannies, kind of adds some depth and character. Um, painted the rear lights there, put a rear number plate on, went over that too with this Citadel stuffs. The front I just left kind of chrome, but again went over with this just with a brush. Um, and it goes in all the little corners and it kind of just adds, adds a bit of depth and character and realism. So yeah, happy with that. And this is now the car dry. I did also go over it with uh, the X22 clear, um, put a few coats of that on, just really to bring it together. I felt that perhaps the, you could see the kind of build up of the gold on top of the black. So with the gloss over the whole lot, you know, it, uh, it, it kind of molds in. For the wheels, they were just like a, a basic black so I put a couple of drops of the gold, plus again this Citadel, mixed, mixed it up together and uh, just brushed it over the wheels, just to give it a little bit of character. 
a little bit of a real look. But uh, putting it back together, just a reminder of what she looked like and the result. Really happy with this one. Considering it's 44 years old, this looks like a car that you know could have been released today. Um, nice detail in the rear lights there. The wheels, in my opinion, suit it really well. You can't really see the interior too much, but at least me and you, you know, we we know that it's done. But anyway, guys, just wanted to thank my Patreon wheels and things, and thank you. Uh, hopefully you'll stick around and watch the next one.